has released the identity of the swimmer who was recovered after being missing for several hours on Saturday. This tragedy coming on the heels of the recent death of six-year-old Enrique Cortez Dubon, whose body was recovered in the water about half a mile from where he went missing last week. As News 13's Chloe Sparks tells us, vacationers in nearby condos saw the events unfold right before their eyes. Vacationers staying at Pelican Walk condominiums like Ronnie Burns were just checking into their rooms when they say they heard commotion on the beach. Everybody stopped what they're doing and they was they was trying to help, but they was pretty far out. Multiple visitors say they saw four swimmers struggling in the Gulf from their balconies at Pelican Walk. Two of them started hollering for help and I could see them and everybody was running that way and there's a couple of them dove to to help them out. Burns says within minutes, the Bay County Sheriff's Office, along with other agencies, were on the scene. I just w seen the boats coming, searching, and the helicopter flying around. Witnesses say one man played a big part in helping save some of the distressed swimmers caught in the Gulf. One of the guys that went out there to the other guys helped them come back in, I guess, break through the current. Three of the four swimmers were brought to safety, but one, 20-year-old Dante Plant from Atlanta, Georgia, was missing. When it got dark, I did see a lot of people with lights kind of shining over the water, walking along, trying to, trying to see if they could see anything. In about a couple hours into searching, Plant's body was found. He never, the last time I seen his head bob, he went down, I never seen him come back up. Yellow flags flew across Panama City Beach all day on Saturday, which means moderate currents. The Coast Guard and the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission assisted the Bay County Sheriff's Office in their efforts. In Panama City Beach, Chloe Sparks, News 13, Panhandle Strong.